So we live in four physical dimensions, three of space and one of time, or at least that's all we can perceive with our five senses, right? We know that there's width and length and height, and we know that there's a time dimension, and as Einstein established, they're all tied together in a space-time fabric, okay? The crazy thing is, is mainstream scientists today all across the board are declaring extra dimensions, that the mathematical formulas, the, the quantum physics, are establishing extra dimensionality. Some are saying 10 dimensions, 11. There's some that say 26 extra dimensions. I mean, that's crazy stuff. And of course, we can't comprehend it outside of mathematics because our five senses don't allow us to comprehend it. Let me give you an example, though, that might help you comprehend extra dimensionality. What we're going to do here is we're going to take the three dimensions of space that we know down a dimension to show the power of just one extra dimension in our lives. This is called Flatland, and it comes from a famous book, um, and many of you might have seen it. But the notion is, is if we go down to a two-dimensional space, a planar world, right, where there's only length and width but no height, people would be flat, right? Here we are, my two little people, and they would exist on a planar world. And they would walk around in their planar world, so let's think of a tabletop, and how would they see each other day to day in their planar world? They would see each other as a series of lines, right? As they walked around each other, they would just see them each other as a series of lines because there is no concept of height. There is no third dimension in their known world, okay? Make sense? Now, I am in one extra dimension. I actually have the power over the third dimension. So I can actually enter their planar world with one finger. And if I put my one finger into their planar world, what do they see? They see one line, right? If I put in three fingers into their planar world, what do they see? They see three lines. They have no clue about what's attached to those three lines. Me. I can get this close to them. I can get right on top of them, and they have no clue that I'm even there because they have no ability to fathom one extra dimension, right? Now, what if I was to take one of them from their planar world, their two-dimensional world, into one more dimension? Boom, lift them into my three-dimensional world. Look at all this stuff that they would see. How would they even describe the awesome wonder of one extra dimension? Here they are now, lifted into my world, seeing all of this three-dimensionality. Very profound. The reason I went through this flatland example was to show you the power of one additional spatial dimension. One. And you think of that in terms of maybe 10, 11 extra dimensions, 26 extra dimensions, rolling in and out of time, rolling in and out of space. Profound stuff. And yet, our mainstream scientific community is declaring this. They're saying it's mathematically proven. I think it's remarkable that as much as they're declaring extra dimensionality, they also are declaring that the supernatural or the metaphysical is throwback religious stuff. There is no supernatural. There is no metaphysical realm. It's all natural. And yet, they're establishing 10 extra dimensions that I can't even fathom with my own pea brain. Do you see the disconnect there? When I think of Jesus at the, after his resurrection, and people say, ah, it's a miracle, it's supernatural, metaphysical, it didn't happen, done. And yet I think of Jesus on his, his 40 days on earth after the resurrection in his glorified body, where he had, as the scriptures show us, he had control over extra dimensions. He could walk in and out of a room without the door opening. He could eat food, but yet he could transcend uh, are, are three dimensions of space. I look at it this way. If you take it down the one dimension again to flatland, and here's Jesus born as, a, uh, born as a child in flatland, they would see him from the beginning and all the way through his life as a line. And yet, look, he can walk in and out of their planar world. He can have all this extra power of one, one extra dimension, and yet nobody living in that two-dimensional world would ever comprehend it because they can't perceive it. So look at him walk in and out of their world, and yet to them, he is fully flesh, fully man. Profound stuff to think about now with our new scientific and technological and mathematical view of our world.